Hello friends, welcome to risingpal.com. Today we are talking about series 12 where we're learning a great deal on areas related to circles. This is webisode number 5 and today's topic friends is area of a segment of a circle. So what do we mean by area of a segment of a circle? Let's find out. So before we talk about the area, let's find out, let's uh, refresh our memory on what is a segment of a circle. So we have a circle, we have drawn ourselves a circle. Let's say the center of the circle is O. Now what we are going to do, we are going to take any two points on the circle. So I have drawn a point A and a point B. It could be any two points on the circle. Now what we are going to do is we are going to join the chord AB. That means we are going to join A and B by a straight line. So now what we notice is that this chord AB has divided the entire circle into two parts. One is this and the other one is this. So we have part of the circle. So the region or the portion or the part of the circle between the chord AB and the arc of the circle is called segment. So segment is nothing but whenever you have a chord in this case AB and the arc which is AB over here. So chord is the straight line AB and the arc AB which is this. So part of the circle, so let's see if we can actually show it in a highlighted fashion like over here. So the so this is our minor arc. So this is our minor arc and this one BA is the major arc. This is the major arc, right? Now what we have major arc, it is spelled major. Now the part of the circle between a chord and an arc is segment. So because we have a minor arc and a major arc, so we will have two segments. So the one that corresponds to minor arc, that will be minor segment. So as you can imagine, this will be minor segment, which is highlighted by one. In, in blue, this is minor segment and the part of the circle which is not highlighted which is between the major arc BA and this chord which is unhighlighted so that which corresponds to the major arc is going to be called major segment major segment so whenever we have a chord the area or the part of the circle between the chord, this is our chord AB and the arc is called segment. Now going forward, whenever we talk about segment, it is important that you note we are going to be talking about minor segment. Just the same way like we saw in the last webisode that whenever we talk about sector, we refer to the minor sector. So similarly, whenever we talk about segment, we say segment, we are actually referring to the minor segment. It's important to keep that in mind. Now, so how do we find out the area of the segment? So the part which is highlighted in blue. So this is our chord. This is, so this is the chord. And this is the arc. So highlighted part is the segment. How do we find out the area of the segment. So one way to do that would be now we will join the end points of the chord to the center of the circle. So here we have A and B let's say are the two ends of the arc. We join O and O and A and O and B. So the moment we do that what we see friends is that we can actually think about this part which is highlighted in blue we can think about this part as equal to now area of the entire sector just in the last episode we saw this is a sector that is the, the area of the circle between the arc this is our arc right this is the arc and the two radii so between arc and the two radii, this is the sector. So this blue part, we can think of this as the total amount, which is this entire amount, like shown here, minus 
minus the area of this triangle. So the moment we join the center with the two uh, ends of the chord, we get a sector. So if I take the area of the entire sector and subtract the area of the triangle highlighted in blue, then we are left with this part, which is what we want to know. So we can say then in other words that area of a segment of a circle can be, we can think about that as area of the sector of a circle minus the area of this triangle. Now, area of a segment is equal to area of a sector minus the area of this triangle. So we know that there is a formula for this. If this angle is theta from our last webisode, we saw that this area of a sector will be equal to, so let's see, there is not enough space here. So let's write it here. It will be pi r square divided by 360 multiplied by theta, right? Where r is the radius, if r is the radius, minus the area of the triangle. Now, the area of a triangle really depends on, basically, if we have to know this length, which is the perpendicular, and then we have to know the base. So, without knowing, at this point, there is no standard way to write the area of a triangle in terms of r and theta. So, that is why you will notice that when we talk about area of a segment, we actually do not have a formula. Like the way area of a sector has a formula, area of a segment, it does not have any formula. So it is a conceptual thing. You want to keep this in mind that area of a segment as shown by the blue part here, blue portion of the circle, which this is equal to area of the entire sector, right? Minus the area of the triangle. So we don't have a one full formula, but whenever we have to compute the area of a segment, we have to find out the area of the sector. And then we have to find out the area of the triangle and then subtract the area of the triangle from the area of the sector.